right, good day everybody and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So, topic of the day, coffee machines and gyms. I am currently off into town um, because I've kind of come to the conclusion that I need to join a gym to help get some fitness motivation back. See, what it was previously, um, I always used to work out at home. Um, then one day, uh, a friend decided he wanted to work out. Missing, we were both working out, everything was going brilliant. Uh, one night, his missus decided that she wanted to come along, which I didn't have a problem with. I mean, the more the merrier. The one problem that both of us had is we are, both of us, we were very, very competitive. Um, I've been working out strongly for a couple of years. Um, he'd been doing it a hell of a lot longer than I had. Um, I couldn't even tell you how long. Anyway, he was huge. I was a big bloke. Uh, both of us strength-wise, uh, probably about on par. Uh, difference is um, he had a lot more endurance than I did. So if we were lifting a certain weight, he'd be able to do it a lot more than I could. Well, before he gave up anyway. So, hey, one day his missus around there were both working out. And his missus very rarely gets to see him work out. So he decided to show off a little bit and start lifting a bit heavier. I couldn't have that. I couldn't have his missus sitting there watching us both and him being able to do more than me because I'm a fool. So I went heavier. Then he went heavier and we kept going and going. And it got to the point where the pain was almost unbearable, but my stubbornness and my not willing to let him better me took over, which was a very stupid move. Anyway, I, I damaged the tendon on my right elbow. Um, so I've not been able to work out properly for a long time. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of things I could do to keep fit, but I don't find half of that as enjoyable as I do when I'm lifting weights. So one of the doctor's orders he asked, told me just to take it easy for a bit. Anyway, I started to take it easy and I kind of got a little bit used to that. Um, and when, I, when I'm working out, I eat correctly, I eat correctly to match what I'm doing um, with weights. Um, otherwise, lifting's kind of pointless. Anyway, uh, now my, my elbow is somewhat all fine to start working out again. I just couldn't pick up the motivation at home anymore. I mean, I've got everything that I need at home. I just had no motivation at all to get up and going. So I've come to the conclusion that I need to join a gym. Uh, one of the biggest downside with gyms for me is opening times because I mean some days I'll work stupid hours. I'll be up first thing in the morning and I won't be home till eight, nine at night and there's no way after that I am going straight to the gym. None at all. Um, I'd like at least an hour or two to myself before I even think of going doing anything strenuous. And the problem is the majority of gyms close at nine, ten o'clock at night and then some nights they might have one night where it's open till like eleven or something like that. So that was the problem I was having. Um, anyway, uh, there's a gym, a newish sort of gym in the town centre that apparently open 24-7. So I thought I'm going to go and have a, go and have a little look, see what it's like. Um, the downside doesn't have a pool. Um, I'd have liked it to have a pool, but it doesn't. So yeah, I'm off to the gym. Uh, well, not off to the gym, off to a gym. Uh, to go and have a look, see if it's something that well, I think is going to be good for me or not. Um, if I'm still a bit unsure when I'm there, if it's still not quite what I'd like, then I may just join an old gym that I used to go to, um, as they've got a pool and everything. But the old gym, I think it's about about £12 extra a month or something like that. Um, this gym, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's £25 a month, which which is it's a great deal for a gym, um, especially in today's climate, why everything is like 40, 50 quid minimum. Oh, remember before when we was on about the subject of gloves, I've bought some inner gloves for these, some Revit, waterproof, windproof, somewhat thermal thingies that go underneath these gloves. They were 10 quid. No, they weren't, I lie. I think they were 15 quid. Anyway, I've gone and bought them, um, just kind of a temporary measure. I wanted to see what they were like with these gloves, and they fit with these gloves over the top, but one, they are very, very snug now, to the point where it's a little bit uncomfortable, maybe uncomfortable if I was doing a, quite a long journey, but it's not going to be too bad because I'm only going to be riding for 15, 20 minutes max today anyway. Um, the only problem is I can barely feel anything on the bike, they, the gloves feel like I've got fucking boots over my hands, so, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about what I'm trying today.
But I can tell you though that the uh, my hands do feel a lot warmer. My tips of my fingers are still a bit chilly, but my hands do feel a lot warmer. But then again, it's not really that cold out today, so it'll be kind of a test when it is when it is overly freezing. But we'll see anyway. And if my hands still get overly cold and overly wet when it's freezing, then I'm going to be buying a new pair of gloves. So second topic of the day: coffee machines. I went and bought myself a. Um, I don't even know what it's called. One of them Nescafe coffee machines, the Longi or whatever they are, where you put the little pods in and you can make your cappuccinos. Things I've got a coffee machine at home that I put all my coffee beans into. Um, oh, a bit bumpy. I put all my ground coffee beans into, and it makes me fresh coffee. And I'm an absolute coffee addict. I love coffee. But every now and then I fancy a cappuccino or chocomento or anything that's got ento or eno in it or arty in it. <laughs> Any of these stupid names. And the only place to get them on was going to a coffee shop and they charge three quid or whatever it is a time. So I've been looking into one of these coffee machines for a while and every time I see them anywhere they're always 70, 80 quid. I thought, you know, bollocks. I love coffee but I don't love coffee that much that I want to go and spend 70, 80 quid on a machine. And then for eight drinks, I think it works at about 354 quid or something like that. I thought, no, I can't be arsed with that every time. And the other day I went into Asda and the machine was up for half price for that day. So I thought, fucking brilliant. So, so I bought it and it came with uh, six coffee pod things. Uh, but I think it was actually four drinks because sometimes you have to use two pods. Uh, to make a like a caramel hot chocolate thing you put the milk one in first and then you put the other one in um, and then some of them are just single pods but anyway it came with a couple of them and then I bought one pack of the caramel choco something of another and uh, yeah and they ran out within a day and a half just because I was so excited to have it <laughs> so I'm gonna go and pick a couple of them up on the way home yeah so sorry I've not done a uh, motor vlog for a few days or whenever it is four days I don't know it's just the weather's been that shite, it's kind of, it's been cold, damp and miserable. I think weather like that kind of makes you miserable as well. Well, not you, but it makes me miserable. <laughs> I can't be doing more weather like that, it's just been crap. I mean, today's been, it's been horrible most of today as well. I'm mega windy, and then all of a sudden the wind has calmed down a bit, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll go and check the gym out. But now I'm looking forward to it, see what it's like. I mean, it should, it should put me back on track a little bit and, uh, give me a bit of motivation because also if I'm spending the money each month I'm gonna go just down to stubbornness the fact that I'm spending the money it's like with food if I go and spend 15 quid on a meal and I'm not too keen on it I'm still gonna eat the bloody thing until there's hardly any left just because I'm that stubborn I've spent 15 quid so <laughs> So yeah, I think the other good thing is, I mean, lately as well, um, I've been coming home at stupid times, I really haven't really had much time spare, so I've not really done that much shopping, so I've been having takeaways. Sometimes they've been okay takeaways, um, other times there's been really crappy ones, or pizzas and things, and I think going to the gym as well, I think that's going to stop me as much doing that, because um, I'm going to pick up some pick up some food on the way home. It'll stop me uh, spending that money because it kind of in the in the back of my mind I'll be like, well, what what is the point? What is the point of going to the gym if I am spending 15 quid on a pizza? Or I'm just going to keep saying 15 quid because it's an easy number. <laughs> so there was one thing I was considering getting, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is kind of what kind of pushed me towards the gym a bit more and get these gloves and a couple of other bits. Um, I saved a certain amount of money to pay for a gym's membership for a year up front. Um, but I was still in an R in and trying to get the motivation back for home. Uh, which never happened. Um, but if it did have happened, I was going to go and get myself an Apple Watch today. Um, but I changed my mind. Um, yeah, you know what? I do really want it. I, I think it's a nice, not the fact that it's Apple Watch, I think it's a nice looking watch. Um, but the biggest downside for it is it's a first generation product so the next one's going to be so much better and around the same price uh, which is overpriced because all Apple shit is overpriced I will get one eventually, I really want one um, I'm just going to I'm gonna hold out for a bit because they are so expensive for what they are I think they're about 320 quid and that's for the cheapest model that they do the one with the not the greatest build quality I mean, the one that's got the best build quality, the sapphire glass, um, uh, stainless steel, etc. 
it's like 550 quid. And I thought, like, you know what, there's no watch at all out there that I want for 550 quid. None at all. Alright, let's try and zip down the middle of this. behind the bus I think. Seeing as I am going left. Oh no, I'm gonna go in front of the bus. Oh can I get in, can I get in, can I get in? Oh yeah just. So I'd have gone further forward but there's no way I'm about to fit through that gap of the Audi. I always realised I came the wrong bloody way as well so I've got to go left and kind of go back on myself. Find somewhere to park and then go and check this gym out. Thank you Mr Bus Driver. So one thing I've not done yet, um, and I don't know why I've forgotten to do it, is a review on this Schubert C3 Pro. Um, I'll be doing it soon. I'm not sure when, but I'll get it done soon. I might do it when I'm on the XVS, I don't know. I'm just hoping there's a parking space down here. You know, I'm just going to park here. Alright, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you did, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see any more of the videos, click on channel and click videos and they're all there. Alright, take care all, have a good day and ride safe.